Mesa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. Well, this week on Dateline Schools, our travels have taken us to St. Clair Township, and we're visiting the Special Dreams Farm and talking with director Larry Collette. And Larry, I know yesterday in the program, the background, we heard a rooster crowing a little bit. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that your adults here are able to work on here on the farm. Well, again, uh, it's we, we try to allow them to do as much work here on the farm as they can do. And uh, uh, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of grass to cut. They cut grass. Uh, we also have a carpentry shop that we're standing next to. Uh, they build picnic tables. Uh, they built 400 linear feet of picket fence that you see on the front of the farm and the side. Uh, we have a cooking class. We have a sewing class that took off beyond our wildest dreams. Uh, gardening, the greenhouse, and as you heard Foghorn Leghorn here, uh, he has about 24 girlfriends inside the, the chicken coop. So every day they, uh, they feed the chickens, they clean the coop, or clean up the coop, uh, collect the eggs, wash them, put them in cartons, uh, and then when the, when the uh, vegetables come in, the garden comes in, uh, they get to sell at the roadside stand, which is one of the primo jobs. And if you think about it, 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 it is good work because it teaches uh, simple business transactions, money transactions, dealing with the public. They really enjoy that. A lot of things that we just take for granted, don't we? A lot of things that uh, we take for granted. Uh, I, I happened to be out here one day uh, when we got a new farmer, 40-year-old lady, that uh, ask if she could cut grass. It was the first time in her life that she had cut grass and she was thrilled, just absolutely thrilled to do something like walk behind uh, a lawnmower and cut grass. Now, uh, obviously uh, the path that she took with the lawnmower was a little irregular, but we'll straighten that up next time, you know. And, but, but the whole point is uh, it gives these special needs adults an opportunity to do things that they've never been able to do before. And even though we have a short growing season here in Michigan, this is really a year-round operation too, isn't it? It is. Uh, we're open five days a week, uh, 50 weeks a year. Uh, and our farmers know when to come to the farm in the wintertime. If uh, East China schools or China schools are open, we're open. So there's, we have programs uh, and, and time dedicated for winter projects here too. More tomorrow for Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.